G'day folks, uh, I thought I'd give you an update. It's been a wee while since I've been uh, on the other end of the camera, so I thought I'd uh, give you a little uh, little update from the Tapanui shack today. Um, just uh, doing a bit of FT8 here and uh, playing with some new software here. So this is uh, Station Master and um, I'm, I've been using it just over a day now and I'm, I'm actually very, very impressed with it. Um, I will put a link in the description and also a link to um, um, Calm's uh, um, M0MCX, um, DX Commander himself. Um, they did a video on, on it just a uh, couple of days ago. And uh, yeah, it's it's very, very cool. And there's quite a lot of uh, features in that that are, that are really, really handy. Now, the way it works, uh, uh, so basically... Uh, it connects up to your up to your radio. I'm at a 7300 sitting up there. It connects to your radio. Uh, you can't control this normally. Normal days, and uh, it also talks back to your uh, um, FT8 uh, WT TX SGX. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> and um, now, then, when you make a QSO, um, it's got all your logs and all that in there. Uh, obviously, this guy's not. I have to go call CQ just so you can see how it works. So I'll just go back to the cloud here for a start. Back to cloud. So um, this cloud based as well as uh, there's a desktop app. Oh, actually, just got a contact. There we go. So I just made a contact with us here. So as soon as you um, click on OK to log it, it'll actually automatically um, zip up the QR set page for you. And um, so you and you can also go to like some map and it shows you the distance where a person is. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. And um, there's two versions of it. Um, there's the um, free version and then there's the paid version, uh, which I've got. It's only likes of uh, two, uh, two pounds fifty a month, which is not a huge amount for the development of it. And uh, you can see it's got to, so these it's all people online. It's almost like a social, the way they describe it, it's a social uh, ham radio. So you can actually see where people are and you can interact with people and stuff like that as well. Um, so I haven't got the other apps up here, but you can have uh, um, Twitter, Discord, uh, WhatsApp and all that and YouTube. You can actually cast live from here as well through YouTube, uh, which I might have a play with one day. And you've got all the... Um, all the different um, uh, leaderboards here. So we've got active pile up. So this is the actual main activity that's going on. And oh, look at that. Who's that up there? <laughs> got a sky to wee bit somehow. The last 60 minutes I've done 12, I've done 12 um, contacts in the last uh, 60 minutes. And then you go down to most voice QSOs. Uh, I've been doing FT8, so I haven't done anything. And um, uh, data, well, that's me at the top there. I've done 56 QSOs today, and there's also CW, and uh, um, no one has actually done any CW in the last uh, in the last day or so. But it also does um, comes up with uh, slow scan TV, and if you look close enough there, you know I've been guilty there. Worked uh, Japan uh, Aussie last night. That was last night. So. Uh, but it, uh, it shows the last uh, pictures on there in a little gallery. So you just basically go to SSTV. You know, I did, did pick up some more, but they weren't they weren't legible, as you can see there. They were, you know, pretty bad. So I didn't bother, you know, I didn't do a QSO or anything like that. you got PSK Reporter built in, and uh, it remembers your last settings. So you can actually set it all up. Um, you've got the live lightning map. So you got uh, where all the lightning storms are. So if you're hearing a bit of um, activity in the band, you know, you have a look where the lightning is. Uh, what else we got? Um, well, you got Google Earth, of course, and you got to show you all. Uh, you can actually add a whole pile of different stuff on there, your contacts and stuff, and it'll show up as it rotates. It'll show up all in these. Uh, got the band colors there as well. And as we said, just as a very kind of. Um, you can see all the different. Uh, yeah, you can move it around here. Yeah. You can see you can see the live activity. Uh, what's going on out here? Uh, you can see who's contacting who. Uh, that's me way down the bottom there. And my last contact uh, was in Germany. Little Lima there in Germany. I'm on currently on 17 meters here at the moment. 
So yeah, um, that's the latest and greatest gadget. Uh, other project I just finished. Um, this is uh, for you guys outside of New Zealand. You probably wouldn't have it. Well, maybe in Australia, but you wouldn't have a clue where the warehouse is. I bought this uh, jump pack and uh, oh, it lasted maybe two or three months and the battery died. And I put a new battery in it and the switch died. You know, this, this piece of uh, junk here. Uh, the switch just, uh, these lugs that pushes, pu I mean, pushes blade down and uh, you know make contact across there but the plastic lags just wore out really really quickly so I got a, a marine uh, battery switch you know a proper battery switch there and uh, also I uh, threw an Anderson plug on there and upgraded to from a 12, 12 ampere to a 17 ampere battery as well so it's got a bit more crank to it now as well it's really handy for um, I can plug you know plug that in there I probably wouldn't run out of full power maybe run out about 20 watts or so it should be should be absolutely ample um it's got a usb charger on it um it's got a um a good old uh, cigarette lighter outlet it's got a light and you, you know it's got a battery uh like oh, there usb right. let me just turn off that you probably don't need to hear that it's me ear waking on the local uh, local uh, boys there so yeah um just made another contact there um so uh, as soon as you log that contact you'll see this will change and bring up the details straight away uh, norway and uh you can actually zoom through the zoom through there uh i've got another japanese another japanese contact there ready to go uh dd7 might be Korean, might be, can't remember. It's either Korea or Germany. <laughs> anyway, um, that's pretty much it, really. Um, I've still got to do a bit of an update. Um, uh, there's another video coming shortly. Um, my mate, uh, Craig, Serial 4 x ray Charlie's probably going to be watching this anyway. Um, he's uh, got a new radio, so we'll do an unboxing and a bit of an on air test with it. So that's coming shortly. And uh, yeah, looking looking forward to trying out his new radio. It's great when other people buy toys <laughs> and let you play with them. And uh, we'll get that up and running. And uh, you're gonna, I've been slowly building my uh, QSL card wall. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry if you've sent me a QSL card and you haven't received one. Sorry, I'm just slack. <laughs> I'll get trying to do it one day. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, so we've got our DMR, um, what do you call it? Uh, MMDBM there, uh, DMR, the cell, uh, all the other stuff, uh, power supply, uh, jumble wires, 7300, HD1, uh, that's all I've got radio wise here at the moment, the rest of it's all at my other KTH and Kaga Point, uh, a couple of laptops, that one, that one there, as you can see for listening to tunes, speaker up there, um, yay, just the sludge, the couch, <laughs> a weather station, um, the, I've got a GPS receiver up there, a USB GPS receiver, and uh, I use that for time sync, uh, for synchronizing the time. Um, it synchronizes through the network, <coughs> and uh, it keeps the. Uh, as you can see here on uh, the old uh, time, you can see it's fairly close. You know, point one, point two. Uh, most of the time, that's the other station that's slightly out of sync, but it makes a big difference when you're making contacts and that. Anyway, I think it's a little waffling I've got for you. So, um, as usual, um, it would help me greatly because uh, I'm trying to get to a, a thousand subscribers. So it would be quite nice if you hit that subscribe button, please. I would really appreciate it. And uh, uh, we'll try and do some live maybe uh, this weekend. We have the uh, um, field day, VHF field day coming up. So six metres and up. And uh, we'll try our best and get uh, maybe some on-air uh, live um, live um, YouTube stuff. So we'll see what happens anyway. But hopefully this weekend we'll do something. Anyway, for now, i um, got to have a wee bit of hops here. So cheers, boys, girls, whoever's watching. And 73s from ZL4SY from the Tapanui base.